how to get your gmail inbox under control hi guys welcome back today i will show you how you can control your gmail that is filled with a lot of emails and you don't know what to do with them that is what i will show you today as you can see right here i have thousands of emails right now and they're all pending and i want to get this under control i want to add different labels and customize my gmail right here so that is what we will be doing today let's get started so what you have to do is you will simply open up your gmail this is my gmail right here and you can see i have thousands of emails and now i want to go ahead and get this under control because this is getting out of hands how to do that we will be creating different labels today and i will simply you know customize my gmail experience by adding different emails into different labels let's start with the process so if i go right here i will simply get all of these different default options such as snoozed sent inbox and others but what i can do is i can simply go ahead and create new labels so the first step is going to be creating different labels simply click on create label and now i will simply give my label a name so i have added the label urgent reaction now with this label i will actually get an idea that i need to react on these emails urgently and i need to kind of like go ahead and open them up now my label has been created which says urgent reaction i can simply go ahead and change the label color so i will have a better idea i'm going to give this red color right here now let's go ahead and add few more labels like this i will simply click on create new label let's go with not important and click on create and similarly i will create few more so i have created bunch of different labels right here you can see completed this will be for my completed emails where i have completed a task and now i got an email then we have focus required this is for the emails because sometimes what happens is that some email require focus and you need time to read them that is why i have created this one and now i will give it a yellow color and then we have not important and again i will simply change the color for this one so now i have bunch of labels right here i will be able to now control my gmail with all of these labels what you have to do is you simply select different emails let's go with this one so these four emails let's say are the ones that are not important so what i need to do is i will simply go ahead and click right here on labels and add the label of not important and this label will be added right here click on apply you can see right here now i have the label right here then i can simply move on and add different labels to different emails let's go ahead and select this one so these two are actually important so what i will do is i will simply go ahead and click on urgent reaction maybe these are the emails that i need to react urgently so i will simply go ahead and add this label right here which says urgent reactions after that i can simply go ahead and select another one let's say this one this task was actually completed so i can simply go ahead and add the label of completed you will simply create different labels according to you and after that you will be able to customize your gmail right here you can see now i don't have to open an email and you know check it i will be able to see this label and i'll be like okay so this is not important and then we have all of the others as well I can actually go ahead and add more than one label for an email and let's say that the label is going to be focus required and you can see right here now the label has been added so this is how you simply go ahead and add different labels to your different gmail to get it under control another way that you can simply go ahead and add a label is going to be simply open an email let's say this is the email that i read and now i want to add a label to it so i will simply go ahead and add the label of completed and this way i will be able to create different labels other than drafts and spam i can see the total number of emails added to a label right here for example three four and three this way i will have an idea that there are three emails in the urgent reaction another feature available on gmail that actually helps us with our gmail customization and to help us get it under control is this news option 
that is actually automatically available on gmail and it is a default option so what you have to do is you simply open up your options and in here we have snoozed in snoozed i will be able to see my snoozed email let's go to inbox and i can simply go ahead and select any of the email i want to snooze let's go with this one i will select it and this clock icon will allow me to snooze an email until tomorrow next week or next weekend this is really important for different emails that are not that important and i don't want to pay attention to them right now so i can simply go ahead and snooze this one for next week and it will be added to my snoozed email right here when it comes to checking different email let's say i want to check all the not important email then i will simply open the label and now i have all of my different emails right here and i also have their location that they are in the inbox now i can simply go ahead and add a time to them then i can add attachment or maybe unread them so this is how you simply go ahead and control your gmail inbox and it is super easy to do you don't need any integration or anything this way you will be able to save time and get more efficient when it comes to reading your email when it comes to controlling your gmail inbox then we can also avail another feature and that is the search filter one when we have thousands of emails it becomes really hard to find a specific email and it gets out of control so we can actually use this filter option right here that allows us to filter our search all i have to do is simply click right here on search options and in here i will find a lot of different filters such as from to subject includes the words doesn't have size then we have date within and search option then we have has attachment or don't include chats i can simply go ahead and add the name of the sender right here let's say that i am looking for an email from my bank so all i have to do is simply type in the name now i can add the to filter as well then I can simply add the subject. So if you do not know the subject, you can just simply type in the word. Let's say I am looking for an email related to transaction. Then we have doesn't have option. Then we have size and date within. I'm looking for an email that actually arrived one week ago. Then we have search. I can search in inbox, start, drafts, chat, spam, and bin as well. I am going with all mail and I will simply click on search now. There you go. I have one email related to my search right here, which is one week and transaction from my bank. All I have to do is simply click right here and I will open up this email and I will be able to read it. This way I will be able to search different emails in my Gmail. And when it comes to controlling your Gmail, then this is one of the options that you should keep in mind. And you can simply go ahead and search any email anytime without going through the hassle of going through all of the emails. So yeah guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know how to simply go ahead and control your Gmail inbox. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.